Hey VC, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop uh, with another video. This one has to do with a Canadian rock group, three-piece group, and whenever you say that, most of the time people go, oh great, another video about Rush. No, this one isn't about Rush, not that there's anything wrong with Rush, um, but I just thought I would do another Canadian group that kind of gets overlooked a little bit at times, and uh, that would be the group Triumph. To go through the American albums, not um, the Canadian versions. I don't have those on vinyl. Um, some of these are reissues as well, because I went to see Triumph in 1984 or 85. And um, had a few of their albums, but then immediately went out and picked out the rest of them that I didn't have. So um, some of these are later pressings. Um, first album, we got around here, 19... I don't know, 77, 78. This is... Uh, uh, reissue, as you can tell. Um, there it is. Everything's backwards. Huh? Um, a reissue of Rock and Roll Machine, which is a uh, actually a compilation of their first two Canadian albums. Uh, the first one came out in 76, and the second one came out in uh, 77. I love the cover of the first album, uh, the Canadian album. Like I said, I've got them on a digital format, but um, this is a kind of a collection of supposedly the best stuff from those two albums, and that's what we got here in America. This is a good record. Not the first Triumph album I'd reach for um, if I wanted to listen to one. Actually, this would be the one that I'd reach for first. I actually have a couple of different pressings of just a game. This is a standard, excuse me, standard sleeve, and this is a... Um, gatefold that I picked up later. Both of these are original pressings on uh, RCA. Next one, 1980, Progressions of Power, as you can tell by that little thing. It's, um, it's another one of those that I picked up in 85, another MCA reissue. Um, this is not my favorite album by them. It's not a bad album, but again, it's not the... Not, I don't think it's the best one they did, but... It, Definitely, if you're collecting Triumph, it's not exactly hard to get. It's worth your while. This is the other one that I would reach for, um, other than just a game. This is my original copy of Allied Forces from 1981. This is on the RCA label as well. Okay, Never Surrender. I almost bought this one when it came out. I kind of overlooked it, or over, you know kind of passed it by. It wasn't as good as Allied Forces, I didn't feel. It was still a good record. Um, so it was only about a year or so later after it came out that I had bought this, but by then it was a reissue on the RCA, uh, on the MCA, I'm sorry, label. This is the um, tour that I saw him for, Thunder 7, bought this when it came out. This is uh, probably my third favorite, third or fourth favorite Triumph album. Um, this is right up there too love this record stages double live album of theirs That's obviously a gatefold cover. nice record from them as well all of these had the original three members on it um, sport of kings yeah, not a not a bad record you know kind of a mid Pushing late 80s kind of metal sound, kind of, you know. Keyboards and stuff, but it was, it was, it was okay. The last album um, that I have, last thing that um, actually I believe got printed on vinyl originally. There was one more album after this after Rick Emmett left, and it's, I don't know. Um, this was um, Surveillance. I, I bought this because I'd just been starting to collect their stuff, and it was like, okay, a new Triumph album. Yeah, you know, the band was kind of, you could tell they were going their separate ways, I think, on this record a little bit. But, um, again, not a hard album to find. So if you're into, into Triumph and into that sound, one to definitely look for. And uh, that is my Triumph um, vinyl collection, anyway, LP collection. Until next time, everybody, peace and love.